Hi viewers, welcome to the next YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create lifting holes in Tecla structures just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now I am going to create a beam. So click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this. Right click mouse interrupt. Now I am going to create view. So click on grid, right click on mouse create views along grid lines then click on create and ok ok present we have created this beam at level 0 so scroll it down and let's take the plan at elevation 0 click on here and close it you will get like this ok now click on window and select this 3d view like this ok now we are going to create lifting holes so go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here in search for type lifting holes you can see now I have lifting holes here in beam lifting holes in beam so select this component lifting holes beam and pick the main part as a beam and pick the position at edge of this beam you can see by default we have the lifting hole at this location and at this location right click on mouse interrupt and close this window now now we're going to adjust this hole as we require from edge of this beam from this side and this side so double click on this component symbol this cone symbol now click on this view and select this navigation and select this rotate with mouse and click on here and you can rotate like this right click mouse interrupt ok now you can see from this beam we have the spacing here from edge of this beam to this whole distance A and from edge of this side to this whole distance is B indicates the B so for example by default we have the edge distance A is the 1 feet from hole to edge of this, this side of beam so for example we are going to take 5 inch and then click on modify you can see now from edge of this beam to this whole distance should be 5 inch similarly we are going to change this hole to edge of this side distance so for example we are going to take here 2 inch then click on modify you can see now from hole to edge of this beam should be 2 inch according to this option ok now we are going to check this the spacing so click on this window and select this plan at 0 and zoom it now click on modify apply ok now click on space right click on mouse data view ok now we are going to check this spacing so click on edit and click on here measure and select this horizontal distance and zoom it and pick the first point at here and pick the second point edge of this beam if you are not getting snap symbol here you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points you can use the shortcut functional key f5 then click on here and you can see now we have the second position perpendicular to this edge of this beam so click on here and place here click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have the 2 inch similarly from a hole to this edge of this beam should be 5 inch according to our requirement so click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at the middle of this bolt and pick the second point at perpendicular to this ed uh, edge of this beam and place the side of the dimension at here you can see now here the 5 inch from edge of this beam to this bolt this hole ok now double click on this component you can see you can change this hole size according to this option you can see now we have the bolt size is 1 inch and tolerance is 1 by 16 so hole size should be 1 inch 1 by 16 for example we are going to take your hole size is 1 out of inch then click on modify you can see now we have the 1 out of inch hole size and the tolerance is 1 by 16 so hole size should be 1 inch 9 by 16 ok according to your requirement you can change this from this list for example we are going to take 3 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now this whole size should be 13 by 16 you can see 3 by 4 plus 1 by 16 tolerance so whole size should be 13 by 16 
you can see then click on modify apply okay now coming to here now we have the lifting hole size at here and here also like this now this spacing should be similar to this holes spacing so for for example we're going to check this spacing also so click on measure and set this horizontal distance and pick the first point at middle of this hole and pick the second point at here to place the dimension click on here similarly we're going to take vertical distance from hole to edge of this beam and place it here it should be 5 inch okay for example you can see for example if you want to place this hole at this location instead of this side so then double click on this component now you can see we have the switch location option here so by default we have s option so hole generated in this side if you want to create the hole in this side instead of this side then click on here and select uh, switch location no then click on modify you can see now we have the hole size in this side instead of this side similarly this location also switch from this side to this side okay as you record you can change this location of this hole from this option by using switch location for example we're going to make it s then click on modify then hole is generated in this side okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse redrawing now click on this window and select this 3d view now we're going to create column and lifting holes in column also so click on this t and select this column and click on here to place the column then right click on mouse interrupt if you want to change this column profile or height then double click on this column by default we have the profile is w16 by 50 if you want to change this profile then click on here you can choose any standard profile from this list for example we're going to take w14 by 61 then click on apply okay then click on modify you can see now this profile should be w14 by 61 similarly coming to the bottom you can adjust the top height let's take 15 feet and bottom height let's take zero then click on modify you can see now this height of this column should be 15 feet from the ground level like this then close this window okay now we're going to create lifting hole in this column so go to application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here uh, for to create the lifting holes in column you need to use this component lifting holes and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at here at the middle of this flange then holes will be generated at this location and at this location right click mouse interrupt and close this window go to view and select this navigation rotate with mouse and place the rotation point at here you can rotate like this you can see now we have the by default hole size at here and at this side like this lifting holes okay now we're going to edit this lifting holes as we required so double click on this component symbol this cone symbol now by default we have the edge distance from edge of to edge of this column to this hole is the one feet for example we're going to take here five inch then click on modify you can see now from edge of this flange to hole distance should be 5 inch similarly coming to the edge of this flange to hold distance in this side we're going to adjust from here let's take here 2 inch then click on modify you can see now this distance should be 2 inch and from edge to this side should be 5 inch now coming to the hole size for example we're going to take here 3 by 4 inch and tolerance is 1 by 16 then click on modify you can see now this hole size should be 13 by 16 according to this bolt size plus tolerance okay now i'm going to check the spacing so then click on modify apply okay now this column on grid a so go to the elevation along grid a so click on window and select this view list and scroll it down and select this elevation on grid a then click on this arrow to open the view like this and zoom it you can see now we have the two holes one one is other side and one is this side flange so click on space use the shortcut control 4 for render view like this for shaded view use the shortcut control 2 like this okay now we're going to check this whole spacing from edge of this flange 
do the spacing on this side and this side so click on measure and select this horizontal distance now pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place it here now this spacing should be 2 inch and this spacing should be 5 inch so click on here and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point and place it here now the spacing should be 5 inch okay similarly this whole spacing also uh, similar to this spacing so click on space really come to view and use the shortcut control 4 for render view like this now click on window and select this 3d view you'll get lifting holes like this on columns and beam like this you can see like this go to view and select this navigation rotate with mouse and click on here and you can rotate like this okay that's it about how to create lifting holes in the class structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you